Kipler McGarry from uh, the, the wonderful builder company, building company uh, down the road, Kelly's in Warren Point. That's right. And I, I'm you know, amazed this morning to find out that they have garage services too. And I said to Connor, I said, what's your garage services? He said, well, we do MOT, we do this, that and the other. Oh, I didn't realize you did yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, since the garage was there, we mainly used it for maintaining our own plant and equipment, yeah. vans, cars, and probably about two years ago we, we opened it to the public. Somebody um, had a good idea. Yes, yeah, somebody, somebody had a brainstorm. You suddenly say, why, that's sitting there doing nothing, we can do more with it. That's Is right. That how it happened? Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, and with our full, full set of mechanics, they can work on anything from a chainsaw or a strimmer generator right up to a car, van, lorry, heavy plant machinery. I think I have to ask the question. Yes. Are you hard to pay? Not at all. Not, not at, at all. all. We're competitive like everybody else, but uh, we we provide good service and high quality. Yeah. You know, that's why we But it's also it. provided on the basis of traditionality. That's you true. are a family. Family run business. And that gives it a lot of character. It also gives it a lot of uh, of goodwill and a lot of excellence, inbred excellence that's within right. the family. That's right. And it helps when there's a family run business, you get you get a lot of uh, local people coming oh, because yeah. you like to support your local area Absolutely. and you like to think that they Absolutely. that they support you as well. well. I'm amazed that you do the garage and that's yeah. a wonderful story. How long have you been doing the garage? Uh, probably approximately two years. Two years. Two now. years well and done. It's and flying. you did it. You did it quietly and let it build, and it's yeah. a natural kind of growth cycle. Gradually, Absolutely. yes, yes, and we can. If you have any, as I said, any of your small equipment, and again, we can. If you have your car for MOT, we fit tires, wheel alignment. We can do the whole lot. If you have your MOT date, we can take your car up for you, put it through the MOT, uh, valid it, yeah. do do many different things. Yeah, I'm not sure I would ask you to valet my car because <laughs> if I did. Uh, it, it, the, the, the kind of uh, scaffolding of the rubbish in the car, Perhaps. might it, everything would collapse. Well, we've been known to valet tractors and yeah. uh, the plant and machinery that comes in who and in out God's of the yard. I've just been facetious here, but who in God's name would want to valet a, a uh, tractor? There, no, there's a few. Even, you see, for the like of the, the tractor runs oh, yeah. for, for charity or anything right. like that, a lot of yeah. people take pride yeah. in, their, in their tractors and the machinery and... That's great. We'll put time well, and effort into it. The way you're talking, Connor, you're a man. You're a man of the community of Burren. You're a man of Warren Point. Yes. It's in your interest that this company does yeah. well. Yeah, we have to, as I said, we have to support our local yeah. community and make sure that everybody, if they're, no matter if they're looking, say, from a wallpaper strumper to a digger or anything, that we must service their needs. They're on our doorstep and it's in our best interest to help them. Yeah, I had... I'm almost ashamed to say it, a, a great wallpaper strimmer all of my life until she got rid of me. It's <laughs> called the wife. She used to do all that wallpaper stripping. Uh, but, but that was the old way. People did it at home and they did it themselves. Yes. But they're now coming back to it. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're finding in yeah. the higher end? Yeah, of um, there would be. We have taken this last six months or so and advertised more in the paper for DIY hair, the like of carpet cleaners and the wallpaper strippers, more for... For, so that people can go do their own work in their own house and we have, it's, it's reap rewards you know, for yeah. us and for the people. But you see, the way the economy is and the way house prices have gone, there's not a lot of sense, perhaps, I know it's a generality, but the, the, there, there could be a lot of sense in staying put and developing the property that, that, you, you, that you own. Yeah. And are you finding people are doing Yeah, that? there is. There is the, um, a lot more people are maybe putting an extension on. Yeah. Or you find they're doing up, doing up their room or maybe they put new windows into their existing house, whereas before yeah. they might have had the idea of moving or going mm -hmm. elsewhere. But there's, there's a lot, and as I say, in our local area, like we would say our catchment is maybe down as far as Kilkeel, as far out as Hilltown, maybe even on towards Kilku and uh, even mm. touching into bits of South Armagh, mm. we would think that uh, you notice a lot more people that they're doing that type of work. Yeah, but you're finding, I just sense, I, I joked with you a moment ago that you'll find much more than the wooden windmill through the <laughs> gates of Kelly's. That That's was your right. iconic symbol at the beginning. Yes. The windmill was there, turning, right. it was made of wood, it was an indicator of your skill, able to do these things. But uh, that, that now, you, you've come on and you're there as a, family-based company that's 
making a difference in the lives of so many people. Yeah. Uh, when you talk about hiring and plant hiring and the rest of it, are there uh, what are the popular things that people are coming to you for? Um, we have noticed uh, traditionally our busy period is from around St. Patrick's Day, Easter, right up until now, the end of Halloween. Why would that be? Uh, mainly weather? DIY it would be due to the weather. People are holding back and looking, waiting for the good weather, mm. the lack of our access equipment. Scissor lifts and boom What's lifts. Oh, aye, that's your access. Yes. Getting a scissor lift, boom lifts. And yes. Right. Higher height. Higher height. Height for higher. That's yeah. what it would be. And we have noticed that in, at that time of year, we would be inundated with people looking for them for cutting trees or hedges, painting outside, cleaning guttering, high windows, anything at all like that. But it's a, traditionally in that time. Mm -hmm. But last year, even as far as November and December, our access equipment was busy. And thank God it has been busy right through. Mm. And we've even invested three more additional machines. Uh, it would be a 50, 51 foot that we would have had. And we have upgraded now and we, we can provide the customers with 65 foot boom, mm. boom lifts for, is for it, their jobs. Is it your observation, because you're in a very favourable position to judge, that the houses and homes of our country in our area are, in, in, are safe? and that people are caring for Yes, it has that, to be. Because there's a, there's, people can be careless. They might leave that fascia board there until mm -hmm. it rots or whatever. But yeah. nowadays you're not replacing it with wood, are you? No. What no, would you be doing? Uh, there could be PVC in it. Well, yeah. You know, that would, and it's, it's low maintenance. Mm. You know, if it was the, the wooden fascia board, they would have to strip it down and paint it again. Whereas now if you put your PVC up, all you have to do is clean it to maintain it. You know, it's a, it's a lot more long lasting. And if I have built my house up to wall plate level, and it's there, and it's ready to take the, the trusses, yeah. I've no longer to build the truss myself. I've no longer no. to cut bird's mouths or anything else. <laughs> I can just get her up there, and yeah. you've get got the truss. I buy it from you, and you set it down with your, the, the arm the, of your machine. Yeah, the Manitou or with a, Manitou with to a, drop a, it a digger the depending yeah. on bungalow. Or, yeah. yeah no. uh, what's the, are people still, because you, you're, whole resin detritus to make it easier yeah. for people to do. Uh, make, making it easier sometimes means you don't require the same traditional uh, skills as in the old days. Uh, maybe not. You still need your skills and if, say if you're building, if you're building a home yeah. that's going to be your house forever mm. that you want, you want it done right and you would still look for the skill joiner to leave your, right. yes to leave it right and even as far as when you're trimming it out you'll want uh, a tasty joiner to leave it right, yeah. whereas different if you're a built-in contractor and you're building 30 houses all to the same spec, yeah. you know, there's nothing too out of the ordinary going to be, but if you're doing a self-build, you'll find that they're, they're, they're still looking for the skill, skill, yeah. skill. So if you're doing a self-build, would you advise people who are going to engage a builder to do it, yeah. would you advise people on how to be careful to get the right builder that you don't get a cowboy well, that you would have a... Would you do, for instance, Clark of Works for people? More or less. Funny, a friend of mine, he's, he's bought a site in Burn and another fella's looking about buying, buying a house and uh, it's, sort of, it's, as you said, up to wall plate level and he's thinking of buying it and he's came and said, you wouldn't mind giving me a list of, list of tradesmen yeah. who you would deal, deal yeah. with and who you would class as good and trustworthy yeah. so yeah we, we can provide that too because there can be i have to say there can be rogue builders about there can be yes yeah and but There's you no would shortage. be the people that you would know would be good certified oh men. well we're we're uh, recommending them to the customer yeah because they are good customers of ours yeah so it, it works in a roundabout you know absolutely you scratch my back i'll and scratch you, yours and it all needs it all needs to succeed yeah Christmas is coming, what will you be doing at the, is it, is it, from a business point of view, does it really take off or not? Or do people start to chill out? In, in the built and supplies, yes, they have, a, they have a Christmas shop and sell Christmas trees and lights and decorations. Mm -hmm. They have that end of it. Um, the stoves would be a big seller at this time of the year within our built and supplies. The wood stoves? Yes. The wood burning stoves? Yes. Yeah, the, there's one called the Waterford I've heard of and there's others. Oh, there's, there's many different. Yeah. It's, it's getting the right one. Uh, specific for your size mm. of room or house or whatever you're... And in going for a stove to go into your room, uh, 
I would have a natural inclination to go bigger rather than smaller. Yes. Is that a might have been uh, building a problem in that I'll drive people out because of the heat of it. Not, not really. The, you can, you can, you can turn your heat up or down, um, but you can also you can get it so that it's not just heating the room that it's heating your radiators mm. as mm. well. You know, you, but we will advise with a specialist in there, and they will advise you on which particular stove well, you need to do job. your job. Yeah. So you can burn, but, but need we need to be careful what we burn yes. nowadays because. We can make. Somebody once said, uh, it was in the Irish Times yesterday, that uh, the, if if the world polluted as much as the Irish do, <laughs> we would need three planets to live on. <laughs> can you imagine? You yeah. know. But you would advise people as well about air purity and what they can use and what they shouldn't use. Yeah. Yeah. So well, fundamentally, what are we talking about? We don't burn coal anymore. No. Well. Even now, you can get waste, <coughs> waste timber boilers as well, yeah. and it would work well for, for ourselves to heat our own, yeah. our own business, because off Kelly Brothers, having the waste timber, it'll course, come back off course, the sites, we can use that t to fuel the buildings, and uh, as I say, our, the specialist within that, the like of the stoves and the burners, they will, they will advise the customer, because if you don't have uh, waste timber readily available, it'll be harder for you to source it. Yeah, you know, and you want it, course, you want you want it to be as easy as possible for the customer. Yeah. Connor, you've been very good. You've been into us. Sorry, we kept you waiting. <laughs> you're all uh, right. But you're it's so good to see you. We uh, we had a slight mix up in the jersey. We thought he was coming at half nine. He wasn't. Somebody told him to come sometime before ten. And you had to wait a wee while. You're but right. we were very grateful to you. Stay with me until we finish the no program problem. today. No bother. So it's been good being with you.